got a piece of that wall, and that's about where it started. fire department i think a homeless guy might have accidentally started a little bit of a fire up underneath that bridge i seen him pop out on the other side and start walking away he was probably trying to stay warm it's a little chilly out here tonight but i think it might have got away from him a little bit they made it should be able to just spray some water in there but there is some what sounds like or what sounded like to me some aerosol cans up right there i heard some uh some nice little bangs up underneath the, the bridge Good morning. Oh, it is chilly out this morning and the wind is absolutely crazy. Uh, we are in Fraser Park, just gonna head down to Compton to pick up our load to get us back to Texas. Uh, had a good weekend, a lot of racing sprint car race in the dead uh, they had uh, the trophy cup and the Thunderbolt Raceway in Tulare I've been saying that name wrong T uh, I've been saying Tulare California but it's actually Tulare California uh, that was cool a lot of a lot of wrecks uh, a lot of rollovers that track uh, for people that know racing that track don't pack very well uh, they water it, come through and, you know, scrape it, grate it, pack it back down. The cars get out and piece the, the, the track comes, uh, comes up in pieces. Like it, it leaves little potholes everywhere. And it was doing it in the, going into, uh, turn two or no turn one and then turn three so and it was like right in line where the cars were setting up to go you know to go into the turn but anyway so yeah it was just rollover after rollover after rollover uh sucks for the drivers but it's a great show for the fans so uh see i went ahead and got the oil change i don't like doing that on the road I generally like doing that at home but when I was home last time I was gonna change it but I only had like 
not and ride it 9,000 miles and I was like man I'd go out for two weeks come back I'll get it changed well now I'm sitting I, well Saturday I was sitting at like 15,000 miles so it's kind of pushing that barrier so I went ahead and got it changed and I did watch them like a hulk uh, which they were that place in Tulare right, right behind the Fly J uh, where I took it they, they did an excellent job. Uh, also got the truck washed. So now it looks a little cleaner. But that was pretty much my weekend. That was a long weekend. Like I said, I was, I was disappointed Friday uh, that we didn't get a load out. But when I stepped out that truck, heard that sound I was like I know that sound that's dirt track it's gonna be a good weekend and uh, yeah so they had the, like I said they had the big trophy cup which is like one of the biggest according to what the, the people were saying it's one of the biggest races of the year uh, so that was cool, but anyway, we'll see y'all shortly. I'm just gonna head south. That way I can be there early and uh, get loaded. Later. Gotta love traffic on the 405. So, we had to let the load go in Compton, which sucked. So basically, they had, the broker had the weight down as 14,380 something pounds. And uh, we got there and the guy was like, this is uh, right at 32,000 pounds like it's supposed to be 14 he's like no that's in kilograms well that's not gonna work so we ended up finding another load it's I mean I had to come to the port but it still gets us back to Texas. So we did get a tonneau off of that one broker that mislabeled the weight. So that helped out a little bit. But uh, supposed to be picking up three Humvees. So I almost didn't make it here in time. Uh, I'm at the Pasha port or whatever it's called, uh, the port in National City, California. The broker said, you gotta be there by 3.30. So I hightailed it down here. Pulled in at like 3.16. And the little security guard at the guard shack is like, I don't know if you're gonna be able to make it. They close at four, like they, they won't take anything else after four and there's still like six trucks up there I'm like all right well I mean if I can I can't but luckily I told him she she had asked me or her, it was a her I'm sorry she had asked me she said do you want to just hang out here you can be first in the morning or do you want to try and I was like I want to try please <laughs> she's like all right well just Go ahead and pull on in. They end up closing before they get to you. Then they'll just turn you back around. Like, that's fine. So, guy come out. It was me and one other guy was at the, the back of the line. And they were like, we're gonna, we're gonna do y'all and then that's it. Thank God. So, we'll be getting that loaded here pretty soon. And then I should be able to get out of California. 
I should be in West Texas tonight. In the morning. No, just joking. I just want to get out of California. They are not very trucker friendly. Like, there's nowhere to park. Unless you're, like, on the very, very far outskirts of Los Angeles or... San Francisco, down here too, uh, San Diego, there's not anywhere to park, so, ready to get out of here, anyway, guy's coming over, he's supposed to take me over to the Humvees, so I can get them loaded, holler at y'all in a little bit. I don't want pain no more, I don't want no more pain, I ain't gonna see no way, look at that with no pain, see the rain coming down but it is not purple today. Came a long way from stacking and rolling that change And all I ever wanted was some real love Then I ice it on my heart, I watched it build up My bro, he stayed with tools, he bopped the build up And I feel like I don't wanna feel it So I pull up inside my cup and I just sip till I can't feel it I know it won't solve my problem, but I know it makes a difference one more sip and I'ma fix it Out my body when I'm tempted I told her one more and she hit me Say you quit or she dipping yeah. mm. Let me do my thing Got them greens and pinks and blues I'll give my kids a change Don't call me I sit for none unless you do the same This is a load. Everything's chained down. I just put these on just, you know. I have them, why not use them? Check all the doors. Everything should be good. Should be good. Like I said, I got chains pulling front and back and then I have these opposite on each, on each one. On this front one oh. on this front one I have the chain here and a chain here then I went with a half inch chain that I got on the front, you know, make me feel a little safer. That way it don't come that way. <laughs> we should be good though. I wonder what these are. Said, don't try berries you don't know when you don't know what they are. Anyway, go wash my hands real quick. We are uh, getting out of here. I'll let y'all later.